Hello YouTube world! Today I'm going to be unboxing SH Figuarts Card Captor Sakura. Sakura was one of my gateway animes when I was a kid. I originally saw the American version, which I found out after watching the Japanese version was really, really bad. They took out a lot of stuff and the voices were weird. So bear with me guys, some of the footage is a little bit dark and grainy. Um, I tried to edit it on the computer to make it look better, but ultimately I don't think I had the right lighting set up. I did order some LED lights, but I also found out that I need to learn how to set my camera properly, so there's all these things about aperture and ISO that I have to figure out, and it's going to take me some trial and error, so have patience with me. Thanks. Alright, let's open it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh, another piece of tape. Uh, they really don't want me to get in here. She comes with a clear plastic that goes around the box, kind of like a special collector's DVD set. It's really nice touch. Um, this is my first figure like this. But from what I've seen of the others online, most of them don't come like this with this special casing. So this is really a special edition kind of thing. So here's the box. It looks like the cloud book that Sakura has. Now for the opening. So here we've got pictures of Sakura in the different poses that you can put her in. And then over here, she's actually in the box, waiting to come out. It's really nice details, like around the box and it says her name. All right, let's continue. She also comes in the plastic with the stand and her seal. She's got this awesome backdrop. It's very similar to the Nendoroid one that comes with it. And then here's the same picture that was on the outside of the box on the clear plastic. Also, if you did the pre-order, you get this big yellow handkerchief that has the seal on it. So if you want to do, um, you know, that pose where she captures a card and her seal gets really big, that one will be perfect for it. Or you can just hang it up. It's really pretty. Alright. Now to open the figure. It's pretty well packaged here. Uh, so none of the pieces fall out. Oh, there's tape. Oh, all this tape. Can't handle it. I just want it. I just want it to open. Some more tape somewhere. Oh, there you are. Okay, hopefully that's the last of the tape. Here we go! Oh, she's so cute! Alrighty. So there she is. Now her sculpt is really well detailed. Um, you can see all the little ruffles in her skirt and on her stockings and even in her bloomers. Her cute little red shoes also have really detailed bows on them. Now I did have a lot of problems um, with the Caro that came in the box. His right wing and his tail were already not attached and it was really hard trying to get them to stay on. So whenever you're posing him, you gotta hold your breath and make sure you don't blow on him funny.
There's a lot of detail in the wrinkles and bows on her arm puffs and hands. Now, the card she's holding actually doesn't have any of the specific cloud cards printed on it. You could probably just Photoshop any card you want on there. But I thought they would probably put Wendy on there because that was her first card. Maybe this is the Void card, who knows. I really like the posable figures because you can do a lot of things with them. Now one of the things I really like about the way this figure was done is that they made a stand that kind of cups around her waist so you don't have to put a big hole in her back. Which is great because, you know, sometimes you do want to do a shot from the back. Her face plates are also really, really well detailed. She comes with a lot of different hand pieces, so you can do all kinds of gestures with her. You can also take off um, her arms and her neck and things, so you can see the joints that it moves around. Here I've got her in comparison to some of her other forms. I have the Nendoroid by Good Smile Company, and also a Petite Chart figure. And even though they're all different sizes, they all have the same amount of detail to them. Now the Karos that I got from the other Sakura, like the Nendoroid one, is probably the one I'm going to be using the most because it's a good size, it comes on a stand, and the parts don't fall off. They went all out with the packaging on this one. There's like an extra slip case on it, I would have thought it was a DVD. And when you open it up, it's like a little book, and it, you know, just like the Cloud book. And there's a lot of details on the packaging too, pictures of things you could pose her in. So overall, I think the company did a really good job with this one. I've seen some of their other figures, um, like the Sailor Moon ones at Barnes & Noble, and they're not anywhere near as fancy as the packaging for Sakura. Now, I also ordered the Figma Sakura from Good Smell Company, and they always have really high quality figures, so I can't wait to get that one and compare it to the one I have now. So if you like the figure that I've shown you today, you can actually buy her at amiami.com. There's probably a lot of different websites you could buy her on, but this is the one I've uh, been using. I'm fairly new to buying these products. Um, I only found out that these sort of things exist in January when my mom gave one to my sister and I got really jealous. The reason why I like them is a lot of their products are discounted from the original retail price, which is nice. Although you have to keep a lookout for some products, like um, from Good Smile, they have exclusive things that you can only get if you order it directly from Good Smile, and you won't get it if you order from Ami Ami. If there's a website that you like using, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll go check it out. Alright guys, thank you for watching.